my resurrection fern actually is about Marie Therese Coin Coin, and she's my legacy first grandmother born to America. Um, I was on the Facebook and I was looking at my Matoire family and I'm joining and I'm like, hey cousin, hey cousin, and um, it just so I was looking at their photographs and I saw like National Historic Society and so I went to Google and I looked up the name and I and it turns out to be my first African American born grandmother um, that's a historic person and built from being a slave became a free woman of color and built her own plantation and had her own slaves and this and became a very wealthy free woman of color and the legacy that followed her is absolutely dynamic with building their own church and schools and plantations and starting an entire community in Louisiana so after finding that out about myself and about my family it just absolutely changed my life so I just had to make the story and when I was reading in some of the several books that I had read um, in the 1800s when they built the plantation, which is the Melrose Plantation today. They called the seedling, um, a little firm seedling tree, they called it the resurrection fern. Today, 250 years later, that tree is gigantic and it still stands in front of the plantation as a, a memory of these people. This story has never been told, first of all. Most of the African-American movies that come from slavery times just keeps them as a slave. And it takes a long time for them to become free. Well, this is in the 1700s. And this woman, through her forbidden love relationship with Claude Thomas Pierre Matoire, who is the man from France, was a merchant. They had a 20-year relationship and 10 children. And with that love of their family, they were able to become wealthy, to own, and come back and own their own family members and bring all of them to, to freedom. So after seeing that her desire was mainly for freedom, that not only her own freedom, but the freedom of her family, and that just was the most important thing to me, no matter what the obstacles were, even with the laws against her at the time, she still found the way to get her freedom, become wealthy, and free her family. part about the story is that she's at the same age, I'm at the same age right now that she was when she got her freedom. She was like 44 years old. And it's a parallel that I'm living her life because when she was fighting for her freedom just to be a person, I still feel like I'm in this society today in 2011 fighting for my freedom, which is really financial freedom. So to break out on my own, to not work for anybody freedom. So I find myself in that same position. Um, where you feel like you're being owned or people are trying to own you and you just take the time and invest in yourself and be smart enough to come up out of that type of um, chain situation. I look like her to me and I could finally see myself in that industry. And that's what changed my life. I just said from this moment on, I wanna be that producer.